Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement having. And when we're looking for what we need to do, we always have to count on people like you. You see, in the world today, we make life relationships. And I just swear to God, I saw a woman that I worked with years ago walking out of a Dollar Tree in my community. And if it was her, I literally started shouting her name at her because I don't care. I'd love to see her again. But that's the way it is. She made an impact on my life. She was kind of a little pillar of the hunt in the trucking world and really good at her job. And I really regarded her, I really respected her, and I really loved her in my soul as a friend, as a colleague, and we became kind of lunch buddies for a while, as long as I could afford it. In life, we have time to talk about marketing, and marketing is how we market ourselves. How we choose our market ourselves today is totally different than how we market ourselves 20 years ago. How we choose to market ourselves today has to change every day. Because every day there's new competition, every day there's new kids coming out of school, every day there's all of that. But the one thing I always say to people when they try to play at me, well, my nephew can make my website, I don't need you. I'm like, oh, really? Great. Can your, can your nephew write a caption? Can your nephew write a tagline? Can your nephew write your bio? Can your nephew write about your company? Can your nephew know where the competition is? Can your nephew know exactly what to say that makes you different and to differentiate you? Can your nephew do all that? Because if he's marvelous 15 or 20, I'm not sure he's had enough world experience to do that. Now, I'm not marking the young because many companies uh, hire the young so that they get the marvelous education coming out of our college networks. But here's what I think. Our college networks are working on books and things online from five years ago because that's how long it took to take that book to publication. Now, the publication world has definitely changed. Any human being across America, at least, and maybe around the world, can write a book and get itself published. And I've done that a few times. But that's not what I'm talking about today. What I'm talking about today is the marketing of you. And the marketing of you is what you do every day. The marketing of you is how you sow your spirit, your soul, inside other people's lives. The marketing of you is what you do to support people and their goals, not your goals for them. Because your goals for them don't matter to them. After all, you're not their parent. You might be related, but you are not them. And when you decide that, when you learn that, when you discover that you're not someone else, then you might start to learn to celebrate who someone is instead of wishing they were someone else. 